Good day. Good morning. How are you today? So, welcome to our third greeting lesson on performing welding carbon milestone plates in horizontal position. So, for our objectives in this lesson, uh, first is determine the type of carbon steel, familiarize the fillet wood profiles, draw and level the weld. Uh, before going further, we need to read first uh, questions to be considered in this lesson. What is ferrous metal? What is the rule of carbon in steel? And how much carbon the metal needs in order to be weld? And how would you weld if it cannot be done by flat welding? And what is horizontal position and its symbol? And what are the basic fillet weld profiles? Are you ready to dive in? Yes? Okay, let's go. Uh, carbon steel is a ferrous metal and is the most common metal used in publication and manufacturing. You remember the symbol for iron? It's fe or ferrous metal. So here you have the combination of carbon and iron to form a steel. So steel is combination of two metal. Here we have three classification of carbon steel. First is the low carbon steel types contains 0 0.1 to 0.25 carbon. You have the medium contains 0 0.26 to 0.5 carbon and the high carbon steel contains 0 0.51 to 1.03 carbon. Okay, so <clears throat> the addition of carbon increases the tensile strength of the iron. That's what carbon is, the use of carbon. And the carbon that is uh, giving the tensile strength will be measured by PSI. So what is PSI? PSI represent pounds per square inch. It's the hardness of the metal or the steel. So the carbon equivalent should be calculated for the exact composition. So when the carbon equivalent is 40% or lower, the material is already weldable. So therefore, not all materials can be weld. Those only materials that is lower than 40%. Okay. So uh, let's have first uh, review of the fillet weld. What is the fillet weld? So it's a common weld used in industry and it's a uh, triangular and it's cross-sectional shapes. You have, you have here in the figure right here. So it's indicated by a triangle place in the reference line, you remember in our welding symbol, and it may require a little or no edge preparation. So it's a combination of two things. So uh, it joins two surfaces, so it's approximately a right angle to form a lap joint, T joint, or corner. Uh, figure for lap joint okay and you have the t joint there and you have the corner joint so again you notice no need for its preparation okay uh, the parts of fillet weld profiles in fillet weld profiles we have five main parts we have the weld root the weld face the weld two fillet weld leg and fillet weld truth so in the drawing, you have there uh, the profiles. So here we have the profiles in the weld, uh, weld face, the exposed surface of weld banded with the weld tools on the side in which welding was done. It may be concave or convex. Another is the weld tube, the intersection of the base metal and the weld face. It is the point at which weld meets the base metal. Remember, when you try to weld, you have two surfaces, you have two parts. So here you have the joint root, the point of joint to be welded where members are closest to each other. And the fillet weld leg, the distance from point root to the weld two, and the actual root, the shortest distance from the weld face. So in our uh, profiles, so you have the uh, words there underlined with uh, red line, actual root, the weld face, you have the weld through and you have the weld root and the joint root. 
Why horizontal position? Or the symbol for horizontal position is 2F. Why? When we're going to use horizontal position, some welding tests are not possible in the flat position. So particularly in fixed or heavy structure. So what is horizontal position? First, horizontal position or 2F refers to the welding position wherein the joint is on a vertical plane and the line of weld runs parallel to the horizon. So we have here the figure. If we try to study the figure on the right, we have the electrode and the position. So that's a horizontal position. So the horizontal position is a little more difficult to master than flat position. You may ask why. Well, this is due to the tendency of the molten metal to flow to the lower side of the joint. So the head from uh, filler rises to the upper side of the joint. So because of the gravity, the molten metal will be dropping. Okay. There's a tendency to drop because of gravity. So what we're going to do? So we need a fast freeze electrode and a closer arc length is required to wield to have a good uh, welding outcome in horizontal. So let's apply the horizontal welding positions. Where can you find the horizontal welding positions? So you have here the railings, uh, the bridges, and any fixed structures that it's impossible to weld by flat position. So you're going to use the horizontal position. So uh, let's have a little bit of evaluation here. Name the fillet weld profiles. You have the letter A. Where's letter A? Okay, so that's the weld leg, letter B. Uh, that's the two, letter C. You have the face. And, and letter D, the truth, and letter E is the weld root. Okay, can you still remember those? Okay, you need to answer that. We have here letter B, you need to match the carbon types here. Uh, low carbon, uh, where, it's, where is it? Uh, carbon content, okay, so you have your 0 0.1 to 0.2 percent carbon. And the medium carbon, very good. 0 0.26 to 0 0.5 carbon. The high carbon seal is the 0 0.51 to 1.03 carbon. Okay, so for our assignment and agreement, we need to bring protective equipment for the horizontal welds. So you need to bring your own welding helmet, gloves, and of course the plot bar, two plot bar. Uh, one piece is mild steel plates, or you can use one just to illustrate the horizontal position and bring five pieces of welding rod, E6013. Okay, remember the five S. You have the uh, Sairi, Saiton, Saisu, Sikidzu, and Setsuki for a housekeeping. Very important. Uh, again, what five S means? Uh, Sairi means uh, an items for keeps and items for wastebasket. Saiton arranged in order for easy use. Uh, Saizu cleaning the workplace. Sikidzu high standard of housekeeping. And Sitsuki is training and disciplining people to follow the 5 is or self discipline. Okay, so I think that's all for this day. And remember, a skilled person will serve among kings. In Proverbs 2.